Ah, welcome back to the Late Late Show. My first guest is the Golden Globe winning actor and four-time Emmy nominee who starred in the hit series The X-Files. He's also a talented writer and director whose feature film House of D hits theatres in the spring. That really is a lovely film. Please welcome David Duchovny. Let me just say that, that Craig is not being completely honest with you or not telling you the full story that after Nicole, I was the second date that he went on. <laughs> you know, so I was, and let me, I don't want to say that it went further, but let me just say that uh, that bird doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we, uh, we went past uh, upstairs outside, he's there. <laughs> Do you, because uh, no. We call that downstairs insideies, if you want to know. Um, just don't long, even, just, don't. Just as long as it's not downstairs backsideies. Right? <laughs> well, thank you. All right. Then I won't call you back. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, you're Scottish too, aren't you? I'm, ha I'm half Scottish. I'm How do you be half Scottish? Because uh, my mother's Scottish. Your mother's my, Scottish? My dad, is not, my, my dad is Jewish and my mother's Scottish, so... I mean, it was always, you know, don't ask me to pick up a check or anything like that. <laughs> was, how we going? That's my son. My son has that. Say, my son's mother is Jewish and, I, and I'm Scottish. My Scottish grandmother used to say the two most maligned people on the face of the earth. They Scots, are. Scots and the Jews. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a name for what your son is and what I am. Uh, a half Scot, half Jew. Because there's, a, apparently there's a lot of them running around. Really? <laughs> Probably because of you. Hello. Uh, it's called a, uh, the technical term is a macaroon. <laughs> yeah. A macaroon. Yes. A mac kosher for Passover. I, I like that. S stays dry in the Hebrides, the whole thing. Do you think you got quite odd being Scottish <laughs> and Jewish? Uh, you, you know, your mother, does your mother live in America? She does. Does she, because my mother's Scottish and she's quite frightening. Yeah. You know, because... No, she is. I, uh, because Scottish mothers, Jewish people talk about how their mothers are all very, you know, kind of over the top right. and everything. But, yeah. you know, my mother's, I think, worse than that. Well, well, my mother, uh, uh, she was an aphoristic kind of mom. You know, she'd have a saying for, for most anything that would teach you how to be in any situation. And, and usually it was the same saying, which was, uh, it's right better than a Stina in the Lug. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Say it again. It's right better than a Stina Hinderlug. It's much better than a stone behind the ear. Right. <laughs> so he's, not, he's, he's not an imposter, so it's true. Wow. But, but no, that still doesn't make sense. No, it just meant that if I was complaining, you know, why don't we have any dessert? You know, why can't I go to the park? It's basically shut up. It's better than getting hit over the head with a rock. <laughs> Which... But she's right, you know, it is, it's, it is. It, and that, that sums up the whole Scottish worldview, I think. And then my father, uh, being the New York Jew that he was, had a completely different uh, approach to life. He was more, more passive, more laid back, uh, more sardonic, I guess. He would, his response to any situation was usually, uh, you need that like a moose needs a hat rack. <laughs> Suddenly, know why you were drawn to this X Files world yeah. of the design. So, have you, uh, have you ever been? Have you ever been to Scotland? I've been to Scotland. I, I, I got the chance to take my mother there for a premiere of a movie called Return to Me that I did a few years ago. Yeah, it's a lovely film. Yeah. And, uh, and um, got to bring her there, and, and actually got to uh, got to go to a Prince's Trust. Uh, uh, concert with Prince Charles, oh, yeah. who's also your your Lord Master as well, because Scotland is. Uh, this is America, buddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that 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 Braveheart intro, notwithstanding. <laughs> you guys, you know, 
Yeah. Scotland is still annexed. I, mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's I thought I'd get the Scotty stuff out of the way early. Do you know what I mean? Just get, paint your face, get it done. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 thought, I, I thought you looked good. It reminded me of our date a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Um, but, but I was sitting there with, with uh, the prince. Your the prince, prince, yeah. Your prince. Yeah. And, Not my prince. And, and we were watching... Uh, um, a, a, a band called All Saints, which was popular at the time, and they were doing a song called Booty Call, <laughs> which I think you had a band G, on. G. Love is right. going to sing Booty Call tonight. Right, yeah. right. So uh, um, I could tell that the prince was kind of nonplussed uh, uh, by, by the song, and, and he actually, he said at one point, and forgive my accent, it's terrible, he said, I can't make out a word they're saying. You know, I said, <laughs> I said well, they're, 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 there's a uh, prince, they're saying, uh, may I call you prince, they're saying, <laughs> They're saying booty call. Mm. Uh, he says booty call. <laughs> I said, well, I, uh, I could explain it to you, but it's a little it's a little rough. So, I mean, do I have your permission? He said, yeah, sure. Yeah. I said, a booty call is when a man calls a woman or a woman calls a man, but a man calls a woman late at night, usually after midnight, to try and get her to come over, have sex with him, and then go back home. I love the sound of this yes. booty call. And the prince went, hmm. <laughs> and he reached for his cell phone. How he did? I know he was going. We gotta take a break. We gotta take a break. We'll be right back and stay with the company. To the Late Late Show, I'm here with David Duchovny, who was getting girls to throw candy at him no. through the commercial break. Yeah. Good. What have you been doing? What are you filming? What are you making now? I just finished a movie in New York called uh, Trust the Man that was written and directed by Bart Freundlich, who's a friend of mine, a very talented guy. And it's, a, it's a, quite a serious movie, and I brought, uh, I brought a kind of a pictorial essay uh, to show you some of the stuff that my character goes through. Well, that's great. It's a, it's a movie with myself, Julianne Moore, uh, Billy Crudup, and Maggie Gyllenhaal. So it's a great cast, I think. So do you want me to show these photographs and I take would. you in through the, the story? In the, in the, in the first, I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through it. Okay, so. okay, here we go. All right, so. here's the first photograph you brought. Then. Show and tell. Yeah, so... <laughs> so it's a very serious movie, you say. Maybe, maybe I can explain it. This is a picture of me getting punched in the balls by a six-year-old boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's lovely. And, uh, uh, and what about this one here? Yeah. This is, um, I'm, I'm, uh, that is a bag of frozen edamame, <laughs> also known as uh, soybeans. And that woman's right. putting it on your testicles. She is, right there. Right. She, she's icing me down after my injury. Right. Is this, uh, is this a kid's film or, uh... uh it's, it, it's, a, it, it, it's for all ages. Yeah, and, and, and this, uh... And this is, uh, later on, I have to go to the doctor. <laughs> Uh, this scene, I'm convinced I have a venereal disease because because my my uh, can you say balls? I know you can say it, but uh, uh, yeah, I can balls. There you are. I like the way you say it better. What testicles? Yeah, because my testicles are vibrating. Yeah, I think that that I have a venereal disease, and it it coincides with my phone ringing, my cell phone ringing, and the doctor is actually dialing my cell phone number. Yeah. I know, I know this actor here, John Michael Carroll. Lynch. Is he a great actor? He, he's a great, he's a great actor. He's a, lovely hands. Well, they're warm. Yeah, which is nice. He's, he's a love. No, Not what callous. about uh, what about Taya? She's just got Spanglish out right Spanglish now. So it's fantastic. She, she, she's amazing. Huh? Yeah. And she's, I think she should get an Oscar for that. She Can should. I say that? Yeah. Well, yeah I, I think she should I, get. I think she should. I think she should get an Oscar for Spanglish. She's very good. It's, 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 such a, it's, it's such an amazing, gutsy performance. Yeah, it's she's, fantastic. She's unstoppable. But Taya's, uh, she's a work on another movie. She's also doing a lot of work with uh, UNICEF as well to try and help uh, the tsunami victims at this point. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's great, you know, if we all, even if our government is reacting somewhat slowly to the crisis, it's great that all of us, all of us as individuals have actually been sending a lot of money to these people and trying to help because... Yeah. I mean, in this way, in this way, the, you know, the government will follow our lead. And, and if you want any information on how to give or anything like that, UNICEFUSA.org is, is how you can 
can find out how you, how you might be able to help as an individual in whatever small amount that you, that you can. I think that's very important. So, so, so Tay, has to... Tay has been involved with UNICEF. Her grandmother was one of the founders of, really? of UNICEF. Yeah, so she's been involved in that. Well, it's good stuff, and uh, and, uh, and I wish her luck with it. And yeah, let's get behind that a wee bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're they're our brothers and sisters. You yeah. Know, and we're, know. All, we're all part of the same world. Thanks. Thanks for coming. All right. Thank, Thank you, David. You. David Bacalvi. House of D. Pitch the theaters this spring. Uh, what's that email address? UNICEF. UNICEFUSA.org. UNICEFUSA.org to send uh, donations. To, uh, to well, donations uh, and to learn how, how and to learn about help. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah. David. Uh, we'll be right back with Nicole Sullivan. Thank you. Please welcome David the company, everybody. Can't tell, can't tell from that clip, but it's a comedy. It is a comedy. I've seen it. I've seen The House of D. It's a yeah. lovely film. It's yeah, a comedy, yet it's sad and touching in places, too, so congratulations. Where exactly did it touch you? It touched me. i tell you what it touched me. That French actress that you've got in that <laughs> yes, film. Yes, you asked me. I, what's her name? She's Mag gorgeous. Magali Amade. Magali Amade. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody knows her. She's, she like, is lovely in the film. Though. Yeah, she is, she's, she's terrific. Did you yeah. find her in France? <laughs> yeah, I, I, Did you go to France and find her? I'm looking for an actress. Taya, I'll see you in a French bit. Woman. Uh, huh? No, she was in America. and we, we found her here. Yeah, walking the streets of America. <laughs> the French, that's what the French women do. They come over, they just walk around until somebody grabs them and puts them in a movie. <laughs> well, it's working. They wear blouses, they smoke cigarettes. Blouses. Blouses, yes. They wear blouses, Same they smoke you, cigarettes. <laughs> Bonjour, Monsieur de Coveney. I would like to be in your movie. No? Yes. Yeah, hey. Yeah. No, you know, no, you, know. You, you were my first. You were my first. I know. You were my first guest on this show. I know. How's it going? Is it, is it sad to see me again? Or? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> no, a, it's not because it means I'm still on the air. I'm That's kind true. of rotating. It's a little, I mean, Phil, it's a little talk show trick when you don't actually have that much to talk about. You, you come up with time, time wasting devices. Like, let's do it again. Come on. No, no. You don't want to talk about the film that you I, wrote, directed, I, and you're in with the giant mustache? <laughs> and come on. Well, it's not a giant mustache in America. When it comes around the bottom like that, we call it a goatee. goatee. That's not a goatee. That's a village people, son. I saw that. Now yeah. that you mention it. Hey, I tell you, Robin Williams is looking a bit rough. Is he all right? <laughs> is he okay? What's wrong? Uh, I kept him up all night, you know. Yeah? He, he ages in the film. He ages 30 years in the film. But, uh, you know, Robin... What's the, tell the folks what the film's about a little bit. It's really a coming-of-age story, and... Uh, it has to do with, uh, you know, a boy. <laughs> no, uh, it's got a French actress in it, I'll tell you that for now. Don't make me make you stand up again. No, no, no. no. You get this scared. <laughs> Um, but it's it's really about how when you turn 13 or when you when you're becoming a man when a boy is becoming a man um, How much you have to leave behind and again, it's funny yeah. uh, You know in, in terms of Michael you, Jackson you have to leave Michael behind <laughs> you do, you do. It's that time of Do not make me regret having them <laughs> Um, uh, Pappas, the, the character that Robin Williams plays, is mentally handicapped. This is this kid's best buddy. And again, he is maturing past wanting to have this guy as his friend. He's got to leave him behind. It's very sad for Pappas. And then there's a woman in the women's house of detention. That's why it's called House of D. It's about the women's house of detention. House of D. I just said that. Yeah, I know. And, uh, I'm making it clear. Oh, was it, was it not clear? Was it not clear? No, no, no. It was clear. Yes, yes, to them perhaps, but it's very late at night. Some oh, people are very, very high <laughs> at home. And I have to help them. You know your audience. I That's do know my thing. audience. Some of them are toasted House as the young people. <laughs> the House of Detention, and uh, played by Erica Badu, plays this uh, woman prisoner that this kid strikes up a relationship with. 
uh, because there was this place in New York on 11th Street and 6th Avenue called the House of D for women. And I just thought, well, it's amazing if a kid could walk by the prison and have a, have a conversation with a prisoner, you could, in the middle of New York City. Um, I always thought that was an amazing, dramatic situation. I can tell by the expression on your face that maybe it's not. No, no, no. And, and it, you know what I was just thinking, though? I was thinking about that French actress again, and she played, no, she, she's fantastic. But in the movie, there's the, the lovely French actress who plays your wife, and then there's a, a very lovely actress who plays your mother. Yes, my, my wife, Tay Leone, plays my, my character's mother. Yeah, all right. Woo! Yeah. I just think that is there any is there any kind of Freudian thing going on there for you? Do you think unnoticed? You cast your wife as your mother. Can I borrow your? Do you have a? Do we have a cell phone that I can borrow? I got this. You gotta uh, call your psychotherapist. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, because we never appear on screen as mother and son. I play the boy grown up thirty years later. But the boy's so good now. The kid is actually great this in the movie. This kid, Anton Yeltsin, he's, yeah, a, he's yeah. just a genius of a, a young actor. I mean, he's I'm, terrific, I'm in yeah. awe of this kid. But I think uh, when I was watching the movie, I was thinking that's David. Now he's doing all that thing. I thought it was you as a kid. Oh really? I was transported to your childhood, and oh. then I was thinking, wait a minute. And his mum's Tia Leone. That's weird and creepy. Yeah. Because now they're married. I, 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 can't, I can't speak for your state of mind when you watch I think maybe you're like your audience when you were watching the movie. Yeah. Um, oh, a little toasted, you mean? Yeah. Toasted, yeah. A wee bit toasted. <laughs> so are you going around doing the, the whole oh, I'm celebrity going around, pitch around, for around. the movie? I'm going around. And, uh, you know, I'm just... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of... I think that it's a real classic movie going experience where you you know you laugh and you cry at this movie and i really want to just impart that to everybody that will do me the favor of listening to me as i talk about it because yeah. i really set out to make a movie that would put you through the ringer and make you laugh and it is a lovely cry. film man. congratulations and, uh, on you know it. to me that's what a big movie is it's when you have a great experience in the dark with a bunch of strangers or maybe that's not a movie <laughs> It might not be a movie that I'm talking about there. <laughs> Are you on the publicity trail? You're in your private jet with your fleets of publicists flying around? <laughs> private jet? This is an independent film. Yeah, I know. I'm lucky if I can get a seat on the train. Really? Yeah. You're doing all the shows? You're doing all the publicity? You do... Well, you no, are. You're here. I'm just doing your show. That's it? You're only doing me? <laughs> I got it. I have to... I... Nah. <laughs> We'll take a break. We'll be right back with David the Company. Do it again. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with David the Company. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. See, now this movie you've done, House of D, mm -hmm. right? Not only do you have a beautiful French actress in it, and your wife plays your mother, yeah. but <laughs> but you've got a very talented, and this was a smart move to get the kids in, yeah. you've got a dog in the movie. Well, I got people a, love dogs. Dogs and monkeys, people love. I, <laughs> Damn, I don't have any monkeys. Or a shark. Yeah, if you, can you maybe just draw a shark? A shark in, in New York City. Didn't yeah. Make, didn't make sense. Um, although, you know, in post, may I put it in, but I, I, had to, I had to have a dog. The, the boy, Anton Yeltsin, plays a, uh, he has a job delivering meat after school, which, uh... Well, the shark could go after the meat. <laughs> it's too late now, isn't it? You finished the movie. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Next time. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, which is something I did. I delivered meat when I was... Uh, I heard about that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... But strangely quiet, Mr. Smarty Pants, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, come on then, tell us about the charming film. Uh, I was just thinking about having that experience in the dark yeah. with a bunch of strangers. Uh, so, so uh, I, I, from my experience, I rode, I rode the big silver delivery bike, which was so cumbersome and, and awkward. And people love to throw things at you. I don't know why. It's like, oh, I've got license to throw things at a child. Because he's moving slowly and he's on a bicycle. I don't know, you know, old men, whack, hey, everything, it's everything. But also, dogs love to pee on that bike. I really? Think, I think because they smell the meat around it. I right. don't know. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to venture a guess, but they do. So I wanted to have that in the movie, where every time they park this bike, there's a dog that pees on it. Some <laughs> different dog. So I said to my first AD, the first assistant director, "You got to get me a dog that, a few dogs that pee." 
And he was like, oh, it's, it's going great. We're shooting. Uh, I talked to the trainer. The trainer says the dogs are really, they're peeing great. They're going to get it. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to spend any more time than I have to with these dogs because it's an independent film. I got to move fast. And if those dogs aren't peeing, I will not do the shot. So I, I will move right. on. I will You're move right. on. I won't be in the movie. Right. <laughs> so, You're tough, man. I can, I can hear you say <laughs> Tough on the dogs. You're I tough was, on the dogs. I was tough on the dogs. So, yeah. so the, the day finally comes. We're going to do the first dog pee, and uh, you know the, the first idea goes. They got this special thing that they do. It's 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 a secret special thing that they do, and they guarantee that that dog is going to pee on cue. <clears throat> I said, okay, you know, I got a shot. You know, it's like dog pees, so it's not like you can't just put the dog peeing in there. He's got to be peeing in the middle of the shot. So right, I said, so fine, you got a special way to do it. Let's pee, pee on action. Pee yeah. on action. Yeah. So, so I look. The van pulls up with the dogs, and, and and these dogs were not abused, I promise you. But I look in that window, and they look like they have to pee pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I started to feel, I was like, okay, let's get the shot quick, because, you know. And so the, the, the assistant to the, the dog trainer comes out with, the, with this bottle and starts spraying uh, the, the delivery bike with it. The magic elixir, right? And I was like, oh, my God, that's the secret weapon. How, you know, and then the dog comes out and whap, he just pees, right? On cue, one take, we're out of there. And I went up to this genius dog trainer. And I said, oh, my God, what did you, how did you, what did you do? What is in that, what's in, you know, what's in that? And, and he said, other dogs pee. <laughs> That's the magic of movies, David. Magic of movies. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you for coming. That's the deal with the select cities today. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Very soon. Please welcome David Duchovny, everybody. Ah, oh, Davy, Davy boy. Davy, Davy, how are you? Craig. Davy. Those wanted to say Craig. It's good, you sound Craig. you take me back to Scotland when you say that. Bounty. You, isn't your mum Scottish? I stole a bounty. Stole a bounty? A bounty. A bounty, yeah. A bounty. Have you ever had a bounty? Uh, You're an international traveller <laughs> with your, your giant I've, jet and your I've, fleet of assistants. That's me. Yeah. I've had an almond joy. An almond, almond joy. An almond, not a bounty. Yeah. Well, don't you think a bounty's a better name for it? It sounds vaguely sexual, though, when you say it. <laughs> I think that says more about you than it does about me. Like, I've got it? a booty. A booty. A booty. We could just go on with that. Uh -huh. I'm just waiting for you to finish your booty. <laughs> It's How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Yeah, you know what I was thinking about the House of D because I've yeah. seen the House of D and I yes. love the film. Thank you. And it's um and it's got a lot of uh, prison in it. The, yeah, the women's prison. prison. Have you ever been to jail? Uh, <laughs> I just it's something I've always thought about you. I thought you know. He's pretty, but he's but he can't live by the rules. And I thought he's yeah. jail. I'm, that's, I'm that's, an outlaw. I'm you're an, an outlaw, outlaw type. That's no, well, I, I I was watching your monologue, and I I, uh, I was reminded that when I was a kid, I was like eight or nine years old, maybe seven, and I had figured out. <laughs> Tell him some slack. He I, can't remember. I don't... <laughs> and uh, I'd figured out that um, a soda can fit perfectly in a tennis ball can, and so I would I would. Oh. <laughs> Don't, they're please, all going to run out please, and do yeah, it. Please don't encourage them to say that. So I, I, I take one tennis ball in the can, and then I'd, I'd shove a soda can down, and I'd put a tennis ball on top, and then I'd walk out and I had my, my free soda. Uh, and, and you're proud of this, aren't you? Do I seem proud? No. no, no, no. So, so what happened was um, everything was good, and I had all the soda that I wanted, like you had all the bounty you wanted. Oh, yeah. One, one bounty. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine's sister said to me, uh, well, David, I know what you're doing. She's only eight or nine or seven herself. <laughs> she sat me down and said, I know what you're doing, and I think it's okay. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Yeah. You still know her? No. All right. But, uh, but you're going to have to steal for me as well. Oh. Or, or I'm going to tell your mom. And I just saw my entire future open up before me. Yeah. That I was just going to have to keep on stealing more and more to keep this woman in soda, TVs, cars. You know, as she got older, I was going to have to keep on selling. So I just quit right there. Yeah. That's, you saw a life of crime from that, your yeah. soda business. I also figured out you probably couldn't fit a TV or car in a tennis ball can. 
Oh, they could try. Yeah, yeah. Scientists are working on it. Those iPods. <laughs> those iPods are tiny. But I want to say that the House of D on DVD, uh, now all of you people that said you were going to wait till it came out on DVD, and I know there are a lot of you. <laughs> I know there are very many of you. You have no more excuses. Yeah, well, there it is. You right. have no more excuses. And I also feel like, you know, I see people come on your talk show. Shoe? Yeah. It's, I can hardly understand your accent. Shoe. I think you said shoe. How do you say show? Show. Shoe. Uh, but all they do is they talk about themselves and what they've done. Mm -hmm. You know, like my movie, my whatever. And so I've just talked about House of D. And I'd like to... I also have a couple movies here that I like. Oh, okay. Uh, Donnie, Donnie Darko. I oh, think yeah, Donnie movie. Darko. That's a good movie, yeah. Uh, Gunner, Gunner Palace was a good movie. Gunner I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had the guy on here who that's made that enough, movie. That's yeah. enough. That's yeah. enough. And then uh, for us, the kids, Cinderella, I think it's good. Cinderella. So, now, now I feel better about hawking my own stuff if I just come and talk a little about somebody else. Did, did anyone pay you for that? Did the, Not at all. Did the Disney a, Corporation No, say... those are just movies I grabbed as I was walking out the door. Yeah? I stole them, all right? Yeah, I stole them. exactly. <laughs> You still get them inside the tennis racket thing. I, yes, in the press. I heard the story about you. I don't know if this is true. I dropped out of high school. And you, uh, you, what? I dropped out of high school, oh, yeah, right? Okay. And I, I heard the story about the, you that you dropped out of, of college. Is that right? No, I dropped out of graduate school. What, what, um, what's the difference? Were... <laughs> I genuinely don't know. I swear to God, I don't know. Uh, probably about seven years and a couple hundred thousand dollars. All right. <laughs> But uh, um, I was studying philosophy because I know that on your monologues recently you've been talking about philosophy. You're just wide ranging all over the place. Yeah, I am. Uh, You're a madman. A D D H D D H D D V D. I don't. I don't you even you know can have is. your way with me. I'm hypnotized. Yeah. Like... <laughs> um, so. So. Uh, I was. I wanted to study philosophy, right? And I thought I was going to be a philosophy major. And I sat down in this course, uh, philosophy course. And this guy came in, and he looked like the ZZ Top uh, guitarist, yeah, or Mr. Natural. He had the floor-length gray beard. And I thought, okay, you know, I'm I'm going to hang with this. And uh, he he said, okay, let's talk about time travel. And then he said, it's very possible that I am who I am, but I also could be somebody from another another dimension who looks very much like me as well as who I am, and I just thought, <laughs> I thought, uh, I don't, uh, Yeah, I get it. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't need to be part of that crap. Yeah. Uh, that'll just, me that'll mess with your head, man. Yeah. That'll mess with your head. I just felt stupid. Yeah, yeah, I, I felt stupid when you were saying it. I, you know, I felt stupid while I was saying it, too. <laughs> Take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Take a break. Welcome back, my, my lovely wee um, muscles. Monkeys. Monkeys, yeah. Let me say that that's not the movie as it plays, by the way. That's no, not, that is the movie. It's experiment. <laughs> the director talks to you as the now, movie's now happening. Let me talk it in your ear while you're trying to watch the movie. You know what you should do? Go but, around. With, with everyone who buys the DVD, you should sit and watch it with them and tell them what happened. That's, That'd be a good gimmick. That's, all right. All right. Um... The, the, doing the DVD commentary is weird because you—they just put you up in front of your movie and you and you watch it and you and you talk and you just whatever comes to your mind you just say and it's just weird sitting in the that dark. That must be room. weird. I have no idea what that must be like. No, just, it's like just talking off the top of your head all the time, not knowing what's going to come out next. I know. Well, try to imagine. Yeah, it, it's just—it's so alien to I me know. to think that so, I'm sitting there and I'm going, oh yeah, this was uh, what I had. I had like a tuna sandwich for lunch this day. And uh, I think my stomach was alone, and I napped. And this was, you know, so it's really important for the filmmakers out there to see that you kind of process. That, what you had. You get that on the much. DVD. Hey, listen, tell me about the uh, Yankees Red Sox thing. You're part of all this. I don't really. Part of it? Well, no. you're part of it. Aren't you one of the. Um, what are you? I'm a, I'm a baseball fan. Sure. Yeah, there you are. That's what yeah. I thought, yeah. Um, you don't, do, you, do you know anything about baseball? I know a little bit about baseball. I, I, well, I know that the Yankees and the Red Sox. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And I know that the uh, Los Angeles Angels of Gala, I'm California. Angels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
And I knew that the Dodgers used to be in Brooklyn. That's it. I'm done. That's it. Do you know anything about the actual game, how it's played? Yeah, you hit the ball with the bat, goes right. into the parking lot, everybody cheers, you take some steroids. <laughs> You forgot a lot, of, a lot of this, a lot of this steroid business. You left out the spitting and the grabbing of the balls. I didn't know that was baseball. I thought, <laughs> I, was, I, thought said, I was just dancing. No, that was just being a talk show host. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, I thought we weren't going to talk about that on the air. What? The balls? Yeah. Uh, Don't tell me about the Yankees and the Red Sox instead. But I'm reminded by the word, by balls, I'm reminded of something else. About, right. About the, uh, about the triathlon that I just did, because they write your your age on your calf. Do they really? Why? Well, I, I don't know why, because because they want to embarrass you for some reason before you're going. And uh, you know, and then they actually they also want to write your age on your balls. It's weird. <laughs> At least that's what the guy told me. You know. <laughs> And then I was then I was late for the start and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that must. Do they use? Do they, I hope they don't use a sharpie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do, no, me, right? no, don't. I want. I want to talk about baseball. I don't yeah. want to talk about your gentleman's <laughs> equipment. I. Uh, it's weird that they write your age on your balls because your balls really tell your age, like the rings oh, on the tree. Oh, I know. Right. <laughs> it's it's like cutting through a tree and counting the rings. Exactly. It's the same idea. Right? What? Well, it's, 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 I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about baseball. I want, I'm an immigrant. I need to know this to get into being an American. I, I didn't bring it up. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Um, the Yankees are Red Sox. You're a Red Sox fan or Yankees I'm, fan? I'm a Yankee fan. And, uh, you know, to put it in terms of your philosophy, because you were you had a monologue on philosophy like we spoke about. All right. Um, the the Red Sox are like uh, well well the Yankees are like Freud because they're they're popular and everybody quotes them and everybody's afraid of them and do they, they live in them. Vienna? <laughs> uh, you know maybe some of them have second houses there right I okay know. I think Derek Jeter has a house in Vienna yeah <laughs> and, uh, and and the Red, and the Red Sox are like young because they're you know they're 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 un, they're not as popular nobody really knows about them and they're about collective suffering and this kinds of things. Mm. And, I guess, you know, that's that's the best I can do for you. But I also, I know that, you know, Fever Pitch, that movie, was adapted from an English book about soccer fans. You yeah. know, like, you know, my, uh, Arsenal, I know, is a team. Yeah, I, Arsenal. I'm just attracted uh, to that name. No, it's a, it's a good, it's a good, uh, everyone likes to go up the Arsenal Saturday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what you say, honestly. That is. Right. right. I just like a t-shirt that says Ars on it. Yeah, yeah. You, you can get one. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, but baseball doesn't have the kind of hooliganism and violence and all that they have. I don't think so. Part. No, Do no. They? I mean, uh, I haven't been to a game in a while, but I don't. I, I don't think. I mean, I get, no. Uh, there's. Would you like to see more hooliganism in baseball? <laughs> uh, no, I'd like to see more hot pockets. <clears throat> hot pockets in baseball. Yeah. I want to. I, 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 I tell you what. I tell you what. I want to talk to you about something. You know, it's the Emmys have just passed. Oh. And uh, I didn't see you up for one this year. No, well, I'm not on television. That'll anymore. be it. And <laughs> but, although, although I don't think that should prevent me from getting nominated. No, I don't think so either. I'm a little pissed off about it. Actually. Yeah, I think so too, and and rightly so. Yeah, I voted for you, yeah, and I'm you. not even allowed to vote. A, a write-in. Yeah. So, what is the? Uh, but you didn't so, you get nominated for a, a, a rally where uh, Kelly Ripper. Does the best Regis impersonation? Yeah, yeah. I was so you do a really good Regis impersonation. I, I don't, <clears throat> but I, I guess I did it on his show, and it was good enough. I think there were I, somebody told me there were uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon won, uh, right. but Regis was also nominated for the best Regis. And he came what second? I don't know, but I hope I did. The, all I do when I do Regis is I just do one word. It's the, the, I just do Molda. <laughs> do it again. Molda! Excellent! The fact that you didn't get an Emmy is a crime! Right. Keep it coming, everybody! We'll be right back with Janine O'Connor! Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with David the Company. That was a scene from uh, from the the best of the Larry Sanders show. Yes. Uh, or not just the best of the, all of the Larry Sanders I show. I think it's all of it. On yeah. the, it's coming out. From, yeah. <laughs> it's funny that. I show. don't know. I'm not plugging that. Why, not? Why didn't you plug that? That's good. And you were. You it's were wonderful. Like, Get it out of here. Oh come on. <laughs> well, what have you been up to then? Where have you been? Well, I was Vegas. Were you in Vegas? I did go to Vegas. Why were you in Vegas? Uh, I, well, I don't know because I'm not comfortable in Vegas. Because really? Because I, I I don't like to gamble. 
Right. My only feeling when I gamble is how soon will all my money be gone so I can leave? You're part Scottish, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see. <laughs> your, was it your mother Scottish? Yeah. Yeah, see, that my whole thing about gambling is so I give you money, you might give me some back. <laughs> I don't think That's so. No good. That's yeah. no good. Yeah. So I, I was there uh, sitting on a panel on independent film yeah. because, you know, as it makes sense, when you think independent film, you think Vegas. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. So we're sitting on the panel, and who else uh, is on the panel? Uh, Jennifer Lopez, because when you think independent film, you think. Jennifer. <laughs> and there were other, there were other, there were other people on the panel besides us. Right. But so we sit on the panel. It's for the the, the owners of theaters. Uh, this is kind of a, an insight into how these things go, and uh, the, we have to convince or tell these owners why they should have an independent film in their theaters when they could have four screens of Spider Man. Uh, we want them to have three of Spider-Man and one of the TV set. Right, for instance. okay. And we have to right. say, well, we're making movies that people are going to want to see. And you, you all will prove that tonight when you yeah, leave here. No, but nobody wants to see Spider-Man. <laughs> exactly. Well, no, I'm just saying. Not yeah. four screens, anyway. No, not four screens. No, you're right. A, a, a different movie on so, the other screen. Right. I think so you're we're absolutely... there, and, and we do this thing. And now I'm backstage with Judy Greer, who's also in the, in the movie with me, a wonderful comedian. Right. And we've got a couple hours to kill, and we're kind of backstage. I don't want to go gambling. I want to just stay in this hallway. Right. <laughs> I totally relate to that. <laughs> Except yeah. it's a hallway where, where David Hasselhoff's uh, might be, uh, he's doing the producers oh, there. Yeah. So at any moment he might come out naked or, or something oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so I'm, uh, I actually feel a little uncomfortable in this hallway, but yeah. less uncomfortable than I'd be in the casino. Right. So as, I, I, as I'm making sure that Hasselhoff doesn't come out naked, I'm kind of just standing there and I see that there's a couple people a man and a woman kind of lurking nearby in a, in a, a way of lurking that is, uh, I think they might want an autograph or a picture or something like that. Right, okay. it, it, I'm familiar with it. It's fine. Okay. Just come on over. Come on over. Stop lurking. They come on over. He says, uh, David, I'm a big fan and uh, like an autograph. And so is my girlfriend. I said, fine. Sign the autograph. They go away, but they continue to lurk. Right. <laughs> So now uh, something else is up, because, you know, obviously I've satisfied one demand, but the lurking continues. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm still there with Judy, and I say, uh, you know, these circling, circling, getting closer, kind of like, you know, a ball on a tether. Right. <laughs> it's a tether ball. Tether ball, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. yeah. The spring in the backyard. Excellent, the summer. excellent yeah, name for that sport. Tether ball? Yeah. So he tethers back, whoop, and now he's yeah. back, and he says, uh, David, like I said, I'm a big fan. I really like you. I love I said, uh, that's, uh, I said, and my girlfriend, she really likes you. Is this gonna get weird? Well, this is what I was thinking. I said, right, oh, yeah, oh my yeah. God, this is, this, uh, you know, it's Vegas and I think it's gonna happen. Right, you know, okay. I, <laughs> and yet I, I don't want it to happen. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> So uh, as I'm processing this, he, he pulls a small envelope out of his pocket and, uh, and produces a ring and says, would you ask her to marry me? Oh, he, he wants you to propose well, to I didn't know that. In, uh, in my mind, I heard, uh, would, you, would you ask her to marry you? And yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I thought it was romantic but odd. And, you're, I, and, and, and you're and married. I, I, well, well it, uh, as I've been told, we're close to Utah, so it could right, work out. Right. So, so uh, I'm about to say, no, I, and then I hear, I hear it correctly, and I say, oh, okay. Uh, I've never been asked that before. I wonder if anybody has. But uh, I be, uh, yes, I will. <clears throat> but then I turn to her and I say, I'm not going to ask you to marry him unless you're going to say yes, because I don't want to be involved in it. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she says, now okay. she's starting to hyperventilate and cry, and right. now Judy Greer behind me is crying. Oh, man. So now it's a I'm wedding. Feel, feeling yeah, it's a wedding yeah. already. So, so I, uh, I don't know either of their names yet, so I just say, uh, will you marry him? <laughs> and uh, she, says, yeah, yeah, yeah. she says yes, and so it's very nice. And then, and then I said to them, look, guys, uh, I'm not in it just for today. When I ask a woman to marry me, I'm there, or marry anybody, I'm there for the long haul, and I want right. to keep on checking up on you guys. Uh, I want you to know that if you have any problems, you can call me. Yeah. And uh, you have to promise me. You have to promise me that you will keep the TV set in your theater, because this is a theater owner guy, oh, yeah. for an entire year, or else I will have it all annulled. Is he going to do it? Well, I don't know. I haven't checked yeah, up on yeah, him. Well, so you better check up on no, him. I, I want right, to right. check well, up. Well, we can't right now, because we're out of time. <laughs> yeah.
fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we are honestly Absolutely. completely out of yeah. time. We, but, uh, we we were going to call the guy, but we're completely out. Let, also, let's David, call him anyway. Well, it's it, you know, it's it's look at the Just time. Just so we can it's, say it's, hi. It was about half past let one in the morning hi. here in LA. Let him, let him say hi. Yeah, uh, all right. Can you call him? Can just, we get this guy so, on the phone? Just, just so we can yeah, say hello. It, yeah, what, I just what, want to make sure the movie's still in, in yeah, his theater at all. It's uh, er, Eric Hill. Sebek. Eric uh, Hill Sebek. <laughs> I usually just read the first syllable <laughs> of a word and then leave it at that. Uh, Eric Hill Sebek. Sioux City, Iowa. One of my favorite uh, places. Yep. Uh, are you there, Eric? Yes, I'm here, Craig. Are, are Eric, you still married? Hey, David, yes. Hey, is everything's okay? We're still engaged. Okay, good, good to hear that. And do you have a, uh, the movie in the theater? Uh, no. All right. Eric, you bastard! Why? I, I, I was still waiting for the print to get delivered. <laughs> he doesn't have it yet. All right, well, that's a technicality I'm going to have yeah. to look into. No, I, heard yeah. I hear more of them are coming out. So Eric, Eric, case. I mean it. Anytime, just call me. I'm and you can you. And you can play the Larry Sanders <laughs> thing Stop until I get there. All right, we got to go. David, come here, everybody. We'll be right back. Need this. We still love you here in California. What? What? Give me something. Give you something? I need something to fart on. <laughs> to fart on? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Here, here, here. Oh, here we go. I hugged you, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Here we go. What? Now we're ready. Let's go. Yeah, ready for what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready if you're ready. <laughs> How are you? I'm... Hey! Can you actually can you actually fart on command? Because that would that's an Oscar. Who the it? hell do you think you're talking to? I'm just saying. Can you? No. Can you? <laughs> Not necessarily noisy. All right, you ready? I can do a noisy one on command. Three, two, one, and I'll do a noisy fart. Right? Okay. Okay, you ready? Hold on. No, I Three, can't. I was, was going to join you. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, well, hang on. on. Oh. And the Emmy goes to... <laughs> Hold on one second. Well, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's always one-upmanship with you, isn't I like, it? I like, I like your jacket. I like it's to bring great. a little class when I No, no, out. it's great. Yeah. Yeah. How, are you, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. I'm great, thank yeah, you. You moved to New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why yeah. you used to live? This show's called Californication, and you live in New York. What the I hell know. is that? I know. One of the reasons I took the job was I, I could stay at home and work, and then we moved to New York. It's uh, it's completely nonsensical. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all. You no. play a, a writer who's uh, sexy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't really ever happen, right. you know. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a that's a fiction. There's you... nothing sexier than this. <laughs> He didn't know where to do it. He didn't know where to do it. Are you, are you adjusting well to life on the East Coast? The lack of uh, sunshine? Yeah, the, uh... well, it's uh, our second year there, and uh, I'm from there. Yeah, where are you from again? I'm from 11th Street and 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. Wait, but wait, do you know I used to live there. Have we talked about this before? You saw, I, well, I, I knew the accent. I could place it. No, I no, I, I, I swear I used to live on 11th Street. Yeah. I used to live on 11th Street just at 1st Avenue. I did swear. You? 334 East 11th Street. Okay. I did. I, I, I never it. saw you there. Well, when were you there? 1984. I wasn't there. Well, you were gone for the whole year? Yeah, I, no, I was gone for the 80s, I believe. Oh, me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to go. I had to go away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to go away. Did you too. like it? Sorry, I didn't. No, I liked it. Either. I like that. Yeah. Did I like that? <laughs> Dude, have you got a tattoo on your finger? I do. It's a wedding. Uh, it's a band. Oh, did not yeah. hurt. Uh, no, not so bad. I got one here. And it hurt uh -huh. really bad. Well, that's a sensitive part, right? Yeah, there. but your finger's kind of sensitive. Not really. Really? You don't have sensitive really. fingers? No. Really? What's wrong? Do you I have some kind of problem? <laughs> I don't, I don't want Can to you give a it. good foot rub? What? 
No, uh, you don't want to. Nobody wants that. You know what's odd? I'm, I, I, I didn't, I'm wearing these half socks, you know, that people wear. I hate them. You know, I, I hate those things. When I, when I was growing up, only women wore these. Hey. And now. Nowadays, only women wear these. <laughs> so who told you that was okay? You come out here like some kind of crypto transvestite? It's not. That's right, I said it, crypto transvestite. <laughs> I need to talk to Nancy Collini. Who's that? She styles me. Oh, all right. And she's back there. I just Do you have a stylist? I mean, I'm not saying that surprise. You look very stylish. I mean, no, I didn't mean it like that. I swear, I didn't. I did not mean it like that. I, I didn't, David. I was actually about to say how much I liked your jacket. It was Thank very you. stylish. This it's is a, a blue this is a gift, velvet. This is a gift from Taya, actually. What, the, the jacket or the shirt? The jacket. I think it's fantastic. It's Thank a you. beautiful jacket. It's crushed like it? blue velvet. Would you like to touch it? I would like to touch it. <laughs> Feeling that, I'll touch the jacket. <laughs> Now, you don't want the, uh, the, the nap to go, I think you, you made it, you know, you have to brush it in the same yeah, direction. Yeah, I was doing it in the same direction. Okay. Yeah, you don't, you don't go, go against the grain. Don't go against the grain. I go back, I, I go back. No, go, like that way? Yeah, and then down, and then down, and then up, and then down. And then down. <laughs> Hey, what have, you, what have you been up? Have you been writing? Are you writing any more movies? Yeah, I've been writing. Really? You know, what have you been doing? Well, I, I, you know, I'm trying to write. I'm well, trying to write. You're a you good know, writer. Uh, thank you. But writing is difficult, as you yeah, know. Yeah. Some days are bad. What, what about a book? Uh, oh, come on. I don't know. It's about time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, I think the last time I saw you was when I, when I did that uh, Q&A with you that for That wasn't the last time you've been here since then. I don't know if I have. <laughs> Well, where have you been? But I really enjoy that novel. I haven't, I haven't read the new one yet. But my new book? Yeah. Ah, it's the same one. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's very smart. You just changed just the Just changed the words around a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Nobody knows. It's changed the font. That's very... That's... <laughs> well, on, on, on days when I'm not writing well, yeah. basically what I do is just fool around with the font. Yeah, so... that's... <laughs> Whenever I'm trying, whenever now I'm... That's good. That, that that's good. great. That it's, good. it's not interesting, but it's attractive it's to cursive. look at. <laughs> cursive. Are you writing a movie about a belly dancer? <laughs> what are you writing about? Can I ask you, or is it a secret? It's a secret, because I find that, that if I talk about what I'm writing, I don't write it. Do you find that? Oh, I, well, kind of, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. Although, I, what I do is I, I talk about it, and then if it gets a laugh, I write it down. And yes, say, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Right, yeah, just the get, other. Also, get, I don't we, really have time to write, yeah, because because of here, we, we're here every night. I, I know. Well, well, your hours aren't bad. Come on, don't make it. I'm like here. That. Look, what time is it now? The time in your region. <laughs> and look, <laughs> I'm here for upwards of forty-five minutes a day. I know. <laughs> Do you write when you're when you're on location at the? Because you. I be wish a, that I could. You're well, making me feel you? terrible. I don't know why. Because I think when I'm working, I just have that kind of head, and then uh, you know when I'm writing, don't do it. I'm just. And then, uh, well, you did it, I think, really before I did it. Be only, only because I didn't want to say headspace, because I don't like that word, even in whatever font it could be. <laughs> um, but I, I find it difficult to, to write to while, write while, while, while you're while working on the acting. So know. you have to just completely. It seems that way. What do you read then? What do you read? Do you read the detective? I, I read novels? all the time. I love the detective. I'm, I'm yeah. crazy about crime novels right now. I, yeah, I, I, I read them sometimes, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just read whatever. I, I, Twilight? The Twilight books? No, but my daughter loves it. She's 10, and she yeah. reads that all the time, and yeah. it's very romantic for her. She likes I'm it. I'm not fond of it, David. <laughs> can, can I... Can I... I'm fond of that, but I'm not Can fond. I ask you why? What, the Twilight? Yeah. I just think that vampires should be a little bit scarier than, you know, guys that look like they're in Starbucks. <laughs> I, got a, I got a problem with the non-scary, the non you know? I get it, I get it. You, you, you don't want to be, you think you could kick the ass of the vampire. Exactly, I want the vampire to look like he could kick my ass and, and drink my, I was going to say, but drink, I was drink decided blood? to say drink my blood. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say suck my blood, and I yeah. thought that's not right. <laughs> Drink, drink my blood. You yeah. know what's really good is that you know how much help they need to do big box office. It's good that we're out here talking about it because they need the help. Yeah, that's true. That's, we probably we're ended the franchise them. You now. You see what happens. Yeah. <laughs>
Because you know who watches this show? Mm -hmm. Teenage girls. Yeah. yeah. Really? No. Yeah, no. Really. <laughs> who stays? Well, you got to no. stay up late to watch you. Because uh, I still, I'm still from the age when you I watch what I watch what's on. I don't TiVo. I don't do anything. Oh, you I don't? watch what's on. No, I I couldn't do. Last that. night the the alarm went off in the hotel for some reason. They, they it was a mistake or a false alarm. Right. And this and this voice came on and said uh, there is an incident in the hotel. Please stand by for further instructions. Wow. And I was laying there in bed naked and I thought, I should probably put on pants. <laughs> but I'm a New Yorker and I just thought, you know, screw it, nothing's gonna happen. And then I thought, no, I'm gonna put on my pants. So I put on my pants and I'm laying there and the, and the alarm won't stop. So I, I, I put on the TV, I put on Jerry Springer. Right. <laughs> but did you, you, do you have pants on yet? I've never seen that show. Oh boy, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> I can't believe it. So yeah. this is what I'm saying. It was on at 2.45 in the morning, so I watched it. That's the way I watched did you, television. You, did you enjoy it? In a way that I, I can't quite describe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think everybody's with you. Let, right let me just say this. Yeah, no, no. We're not... Yeah. If I could... If I could... Yeah. We're out, of we're out of time, David. The California Cation uh, doing all right? It's doing fantastic. In yeah. fact, we went Big up, hit, sure. we went up uh, something like 50% in our ratings this year. I don't understand why, but we did. That's fantastic. I know, that, that mm -hmm. doesn't happen. Well, you've done that. You're, you're very popular. Well, we, you, if you go from, like, 10 people watching to 20 people watching this, and... <laughs> we're up 100%. That's 100%. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, all right. Yes, I believe we went from 5 to 8. Yeah, that's, 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 well, that's good, yeah, though. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's, we're, it's done, we're done, then. Yes, we're done? Yeah, that's it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this new thing. You know what I like? The... You know what? I like that alligator a lot. Can I talk to him? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Take a break? You want me to take a break? No, nah, okay, I won't. All right. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. Has, has when we come back, David Duchovny will talk to Wavy the Crocodile, right. everybody, when we come back. Hey, Wavy. Hey, nice, nice hey, to see what's you. up? All hey, right. right, nice to meet you. Hey, I love your High work. Five, All right. right. Yeah. 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 I Do not I toy you. with me, the company, for I am. I love you. I'm work. a killing machine. I know that. Let me, let me help. I think you have a little Ferguson stuck in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I got it. Right. Man, you so, seem to have very insensitive fingertips, if oh. you don't mind my saying. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah, thank so, you. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, David. Yes, what? So you live in New York. That's right. Do you enjoy the smell of urine in the street there? Well, it's funny, it's funny you should ask that, Wavy, but I think that I can get a good urine smell in just about any major metropolis in the world. <laughs> so it's not just New York. I can, I can get a good whiff of it here in L.A. If do I you, can. Do you, I, what you're telling me is you enjoy the smell of urine. <laughs> is this what you're saying? Are you, are you no, in you some may, way German? Be careful. <laughs> You, you watch yourself. You may be an alligator, but you're, uh, you're very small. I'm right? not, I'm not, I'm will, not sure will, if I'm an alligator or a crocodile, to be quite honest with you. I will take you down. Man, I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, Daddy likes right that. There, right yeah. Uh -huh. uh, ooh, that's a good stuff. Oh, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> David Duchovny, everybody. David. Yeah. See, you got yourself in a DVD there, son. That's right. That's pretty good. 
Um, look at that. The Jones is yeah. DVD. A DVD. <laughs> How you doing, yeah. David? I'm doing very well. How yeah. are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all yeah. right. I'm very happy. I'm glad you're always here on Ecuadorian Independence Day. <laughs> it wouldn't be Ecuadorian Independence Day without you. You're no. kind of like the Santa of Ecuadorian yeah. Independence Day. Well, you know, my family growing up in the city, in New York City in the 60s, uh, we always celebrated Ecuadorian Independence Day. Right, yeah. It's... Because my father being a Russian Jew and my mother... <laughs> Being Scottish, it was a very important Very holiday. important day, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that, you know, the, the companies were out there with their caracatacas. Yeah. <laughs> I get nothing, man. I don't we, know uh, anything about Ecuador. We, on that day, we would put the little uh, mustache over our N, you know, the cov you know. Oh, uh, really? Oh, that's nice. What do, what do you call that? What is the, it's uh, not a, what? Tilde. 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 Til gay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, you were my first guest ever on this show. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was. It's nice to have you back. Yeah, well, I've been back before that. Yeah, yeah I know, but I'm just but saying I, it again. I want to say, look, look, look at this note that Craig gave me in the... Why in the, are you doing group. this? I mean, I was his first guest, so we have a bond, a very special bond, and, and the way that he keeps that bond going is by writing a very personalized, beautiful note to me backstage. <laughs> and I, I'd like to share it with you, if I might. Uh, it All says, right. welcome back, David. <laughs> David, now listen, David. David, 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 David. By your own admission, Wait. by your own... <laughs> and then it signed, uh, Jerry, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that? Oh, that's not my letter. That's not from me, that's from Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's very excited you're Jim, back. And uh, there's a little kiss there. Yeah, that's a little kiss right there. Now, yeah. where is it, buddy? Yeah, yeah, well, it's coming. Let's All just right. see how the rest of Independence okay. Day Ecuadorian okay. style goes. <laughs> right, but, um, by your own admission, your mother's Scottish, so yes. you know that you we're not big on affection. You say admission like it's uh, some kind of admission of guilt. In a way, yeah. if your mother is Scottish, and I speak from some experience, yeah. that, um, in a way, you are guilty. Yeah. You know, yeah. you... <laughs> Well, what is a Scottish kiss? It's a headbutt, right? Right. Well, that's yeah. more a Glasgow kiss, because oh, yeah. in Edinburgh, yeah. they actually kiss. Oh, they do? Yeah, yeah. My mother used to say to me, I don't know if I've shared this with you, but, but she would say when I would complain about anything, uh, if, if I didn't like what, whatever I was eating or I wanted something else or I wanted to go outside, whatever, she'd say it's right better than a Stina in the Lug. <laughs> Really? A Stina in the lug? Yeah. We know the lug. Oh, a lug. Oh, yes, yeah, your yeah, ear. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So, I'm, I'm, so, I've been out in America for a long time. Yeah, well, in I, uh, America. Congratulations on losing your accent. Thank you very much. What, um, what's, the, what's a steen? A stone. Oh, a stone. So it's a stone behind the ear. A stone behind the ear. Well, I, I, that's very unpleasant. Well, <laughs> this is what it's like to be Scottish, is that no matter what is happening to you, don't complain because it's better than getting hit over the head with a stone. <laughs> so, so in Scotland, that is, the, that is the watermark, that's the watermark of a regular life. That's so right, yeah. It's either, it's either it's okay, shut up, or you're getting hit over the head with a with rock. With a stone, yeah. <laughs> that would explain many of my earlier romantic adventures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> things with you? Are you all right? I'm, you, I'm uh, great. Yeah, yeah. I'm fantastic. You, you had a haircut. I did. I had a, yeah, I, because I saw you earlier on, you were getting your haircut. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking next time, because I like to get a free haircut. Is that why you come yeah. here? That's yeah. the only reason you come. Yeah. No, I come here because of the warmth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Jerry is very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. He really likes it. That, it's lovely to put a picture of himself right yeah. there. Isn't it? This is so yeah. Personalized. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking next time I come out, maybe I could get my hair cut while we're talking. I thought we could. We could yeah, do you that. could just like you know get work me into your schedule in some way. Yeah. No, do you see? Do you see? Well, you know, I'm very busy because why? Because I'm on. You're a on DVD. DVD. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. No, not like that. All right. Like this. That's, that's yeah. Demi Moore on that. She's. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 Demi. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, let's just take that in lieu of the kiss, then. Yeah, okay. You patted my leg, that's enough. Are you, are you... Don't, 
don't, uh, don't, don't take this the wrong way, but are, are you wearing long underwear? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I was miles okay. away. No, I'm not wearing long underwear. I, I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> I'm Scottish, you must have learned that. Yeah. Do you wear underwear? Have you come this far from your heritage? Civilized. I thought that was only with the kilt. I didn't know it was... Uh, no, no, that. we never wear underwear or in any way, shape or form, bathe. <laughs> you know, again, I, I go back to the city, New York City. When I was growing up there, and this is a style that is no longer in, in fashion, but a lot of the guys when we'd play ball in Central Park, baseball, mm -hmm. we I didn't. I say we, and we amend that. And Toby, you were really funny. I see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, well done, Toby. Toby, yeah. <laughs> Toby, what a great what a great laugh. What a wonderful laugh. <laughs> I liked her glasses. I was like, great. whoa, it's kind yeah. of sexy Drew Carey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but these, uh, these guys, uh, guys, the guys playing uh, baseball in Central Park. That's sweatpants, what... but they wear their underwear over their sweatpants. What are you telling me? Yeah, all, all, <laughs> usually a jock strap, you know. Because... Over your sweatpants? Yeah, this was the 60s, early 70s. It was a different time. <laughs> they want to make a DVD about yeah. that, David. <laughs> That, that'd be what would, yeah. That, that, that you would go and see, I think. No, it's a DVD, oh, you don't even have to. You, you, you can maybe that, go and see it at your friend's I'm house. Not, I'm not technologically savvy like you, Craig. <laughs> what is this DVD? Well, what happens together? is a bunch of people get together and they uh, um, yes. uh, form a group and they each put in a little money and buy the DVD or rent it, mm. in many cases. And help, uh, Toby, help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want me? Yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I just, I no. just, I just, I just wanted to laugh, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> you can just throw it out there. Attention, paging Dr. Funny. <laughs> is that, is that, is that kind of a snarky comment? I this? think it was a, I think it was a little, a little harsh, actually. Who is that? Yeah. Who is that? That's Jeff Peterson. He's my robot skeleton. <laughs> Well, how does he come by the last name Peterson? Well, how did you come by the last name Duchovny? <laughs> His mother was Scottish. <laughs>
But I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the styles. Uh, not, I've never known the styles. I don't know what, what they're doing now. I, I don't know what they were well, doing. They're, they're shaving. The, you don't need to. Oh, you the, got the, the jawline. The, but the a lot of fat strap. guys are going for the, the, the jawline strap. thing. Yeah, yeah the chin yeah. strap. I don't get that at all. Well, you don't need it, man. Look at your jawline right there. You got the Phil Guy Pierce going on right wow. there. Yeah. Well, thank you, Craig. Well, it's because you play basketball. That's yeah, why. Yeah, but I've never, I've, I've played ball my whole life, and I've never gotten hit in the face like that. So. Well, who were you playing against? Are you playing against George Clooney? Uh, I was not. Well, there's your problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that under consideration. Right, that's right. I go, I go play. Do you, do you, who do you play against, then? Well, who I have a, a weekly game in, in New York, where, where I'm living now, you know, so. I thought you were looking a bit New York, with your yeah, dark clothes you. and your kind of... <laughs> Slight smell of urine. Ooh. <laughs> no, don't you notice well, in New thank, York there's a slight thank, smell? Thank, no, not thank, you, thank Dave. You. I mean, you for, thank you for saying slight. Yeah, yeah, it's very slight. <laughs> Do you have your own fragrance? A lot of the famous folks are doing that now. They get their own fragrance. Well, I hadn't thought of it, but now I'm thinking about well, it. Well, yeah. Now that you mentioned urine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, what's urine is mine. <laughs> No, it's actually it's it's rich. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think you've been here since he's been I have, here. I saw him. I don't like him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't care for him either, I gotta yeah, say. He's yeah. uh, he's Team Jacob apparently. Uh yeah, I'm 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 he with you. Bites. <laughs> My daughter is Team Edward, so I am by extension Team Edward. You actually know about that? Oh, yeah, because well, I, I... <laughs> I, I have an 11 year old daughter. So. Right. So, I, is that old enough to read those things? I didn't know. I no, thought they were. Kind of... She reads them and she goes to the movies. Really? Uh, have yeah. you seen the movies? Uh, yeah. I have. <laughs> Do you enjoy New York? I always think of you as a Californian. Really. I'm from New York. I was yeah. born and raised there. It, it, and yet, I still think of you as a Californian. Why yeah. is that? Uh, it's probably the facial hair. Uh, that and I met you here, so yes, that I thought, yeah. oh, well, he must be from here. Yeah, like no. you probably think about me. Yes, I. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, I love the the Scottish in you. I, I love it because my mother. We, your mother we was, talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Your mother was Scottish, yeah. as was mine. And she loves you. <laughs> she loves you, but you're on late for her, and she's she doesn't know how to program. Or the DVR thing? Yeah, no, nothing. She well, doesn't maybe you got some money. You got some money. She has you a can black maybe... and white television. She has a black and white. Oh, no, she's Scottish. but it's like yeah. that. Yeah. Black and white. <laughs> black and white. It's just fine. You don't need. You don't need color. That'll just lead to sin. Right. Yeah. <laughs> True story. Yeah. What's happening in the Californication this year then? What's yeah, going on? Uh, well, a lot of. Well, you saw I get, I get nailed in the in the head with the phone there by my. Is the, that really what happened to your lip? No. <laughs> Well, that was a uh, that was a, a plastic phone, you know, and because uh, I didn't really want to get hit with a phone. Uh, well, mo they're all plastic, man. You don't get no, metal no, phones, no, isn't it? No, but like a soft plastic phone. Oh. Phone. And uh, uh, <laughs> do you, I, you don't mind if I? I don't no, know no, why. Here, I was, look, I was, here's some kangaroo uh, testicles. Uh, uh, you can do that to me. <laughs> they feel oddly familiar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, right. Is that, is that really what these are? Well, apparently, no. I'm just saying, I got an email from a guy in Australia who said they're too small to be kangaroo testicles. They're probably wallaby testicles. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I'm guessing there's a very angry wallaby out there. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. A very angry wallaby with a high voice. <laughs> or maybe a kangaroo on steroids. Uh, do, you, do you still take the steroids, David? Oh, of course. All oh, right, yeah. good. That's good. <laughs> That's the um, main thing. Uh, so what happens in the California well, case? Well, uh, um, Hank is uh, the, the the motor for the whole show was that I had unwittingly had sex with an underage girl uh, in the pilot, 16 year old. She was a 16 year old pilot. Yeah. <laughs> that would make you think she was older than 16. I can see how that. Could... That's why I was misled. Right. So I, you go to jail I, for that. I figured. Then, I, I figured if you're flying a plane, yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's been the secret throughout the whole series, uh, and now and now it's out, and now we, we do deal with legal issues uh, this year. But it's still it's still a comedy. We're not turning into a a, a law and order type show. <laughs> this show is turning into a law and order type show. <laughs> what would it What would it be called? That's a tough one. I, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Yeah, there. No, Maybe. balls. Balls. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? He does yeah, come in he, handy. He does come he? in every now and again. Yeah. You know, if you... when you're stuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, every night then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we're out of time, David. Oh, all right. That's yeah. fantastic. So there you go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right.
I, I, don't you close with the... Yeah, usually an awkward pause or a harmonica. I was wondering what you would prefer, mouth organ or silence? Uh, I, I'm going to try to do both. <laughs> if, if, if you could... <laughs> if you could just... Uh, if you could humor me and just say, uh, would you play this harmonica? Would you play this harmonica? <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah! Let's go. Get the organ in your mouth, give it a good blow. Could've, could've, it feel better. Could have unwrapped it. For your old Scottish mother, are you ready? I'm sorry, Mrs. Duchovny. David Duchovny, everyone. Please welcome David Duchovny, everybody. David Duchovny. Welcome, Davey. Welcome, welcome, okay. welcome. Hi, Jeff. Hey, David. I, he, he wasn't talking last time I was here. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, he's he's evolved. Uh, he's, he's, he's come uh, yeah, out of his shell. Yeah, he's really talky, chatty, yeah. kind of, yeah, a little too much, actually, I think, man. <laughs> I'll be speaking with you after the show. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? You all right? I'm doing very well. You look well. Thank you. Yeah, you Thank look you. very kind of... You look, you look good, too. No, nah, you're that, lying, man. That blue tie brings out your... <laughs> This blue tie. You look like the blue tie? Look at your blue eyes. Right, they look right. Just... Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Man? You're not you wearing a tie. What? The... I just went like this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. With the oh oh. Versatile. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> how you been? Are you all right? I'm excellent. Yeah. Thank how's you. the Californication doing? Yeah. It's. Uh, I think it's doing very well. We're in yeah. its fifth year. That means you're doing well. That means uh, that uh, one year after that you get a Golden Globe. I think. Uh, <laughs> did you go there the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Oh, I, right. I, I go to lose. You know. <laughs> Were you nominated? For that? I'm sorry. Were you nominated? For yeah. Where to do your research? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on there, passive-aggressive uh, boy. <laughs> First of all, I don't do research. Yes, I do. And secondly, no, no, I yeah, only have one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got this great message from my, my son on the night uh, of the Globes where he said he was calling from Florida where he was fishing. Wow, really? He's, <laughs> kids suddenly go, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going fishing in Florida. Well, he's, he's nine. He's oh, nine. right, I thought maybe and, 50. And he, and he, yeah, no, and he said... Uh, <laughs> He said, uh, oh, good luck on the Golden Globes tomorrow, Dad, and, and if you don't win, it's okay. It's good to just be nominated. Oh, I caught these fish today, and they were... There. <laughs> and it was like three minutes of specifics on his fish. And then it was... Well, you know, it's his world. It was lovely. Yeah, it's no, wonderful. it's fine. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I it's... saved it. And well, I... you, have the, you have the fish? No, I have it. <laughs> Do you go fishing? No, I hate fishing. What's wrong with I, you? I, you don't I, like fishing? I was in Jamaica over Christmas. With Did you my... go of your own accord? Yeah. <laughs> to Jamaica, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah not That's a... a very old joke, and it's a Is confused it? way to approach it. Yeah, I say my wife's gone to the West Indies, Jamaica. No, she went of her own accord. You never heard that joke? Oh, yeah, no. okay. No, I never heard it. No. Oh. Um, but I, he wants to go deep sea fishing because he wants to catch a billfish, you know, fish with a bill, a marlin right. or a swordfish, right. big, big fish. He, wants, he wants a trophy fish. And so I, we booked this uh, deep sea, you know, a boat. Boat, yeah. And I spent five hours on the deck in the fetal position. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seasick? Horribly. Well, these fishing boats are kind of small. It's like dive boats are the same. I don't get seasick don't. unless I go in one of those things. Right. And it, oh, it's, it's horrible. It's about the worst feeling there is. It's terrible, yeah. yeah. If you combine that with a bit of shingles, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I, I got shingles over Christmas. Somebody's, I, I've heard a rumor that you're, you're, you're into shingles these days. I'm not into shingles. <laughs> into shingles, David. What the hell is wrong with you, man? I thought we were friends. Are, uh, into shingles? No, people don't think it, I'm into shingles. Is, isn't shingles just the PC way of saying herpes? No, because I didn't get it on my junk. <laughs> you can get herpes here. You can get herpes. Yeah, but that's a different type of herpes. That it's uh, that's like mouth herpes. And then you got a doctor herpes. coming out next. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should don't ask yell him. at me. Yeah. Ask I'm him. yelling tonight. I'm I? I think my hearing's going. I think it's the shingles. <laughs> it is. 
the shingles have made me go deaf. I'm like, Regis! I'm like, Regis! <laughs> makes, one, makes one very testy. Yeah. Testy? Yeah, I see. <laughs> it's one of, the, uh, one of the good points about being mechanical. No herpes over there. No shingles. <laughs> You would think, and yet he's caught shingles for From some you. one reason. <laughs> well, that's, that's how he got the job, I think, is what it was. Hey, you were my first guest here. I do know that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And fond memories, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, I remember back then? Yeah. Let's pretend we've got a flashback, but not really have one. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with David the Company, everybody. me out all night. <laughs> and then, uh, welcome back, everybody. I'm here with David Duchovny, who's uh, just told me during the break that he loves beekeeping. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. How many, many bees have you got then, David? Uh, seven. Seven? <laughs> well, I live in New York. It's hard to keep them. They keep, right. <laughs> they keep on escaping. <laughs> and then I saw some of them when I went to the Hamptons. I saw some that I'd lost. Four or five of them that I lost a few years ago. What were they doing? Bastards! Yeah, yeah. They were working for, they were making honey for somebody else. I think maybe a hobby would be a good thing. Bees is good. You won't get seasick keeping bees. I'm teaching myself how to play guitar. That's one thing. Well, that's, that's all right. You, yeah. you teach a bee how to play guitar, you might make some money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no. Corky the guitar playing bee. And then diddle in and then six legs, that's probably going to be good. Yeah, they can do a cover of I'm a King Bee, right? I'm a King Bee, yeah. Uh, I'm a bee lever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> that's, re that's really all you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you're teaching yourself to play the guitar? Just so I can accompany myself on the guitar. I, it's not, it's only for my pleasure because if I played for anybody else, it wouldn't be there for their, for their pleasure at all. Well, see, that, I don't know if that technically counts as playing the guitar. Why not? Well, if nobody can hear you playing the guitar... You just, you I, I watched your monologue. You said if you want to play an instrument or sing, do it for yourself. And, and now you're, you're taking it I changed it my back. mind, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't change no. my mind? Okay. Oh. What is I'm not a, like, what am I, a, a running for president? I can change my mind. <laughs> yes, I changed it again. Yeah, now yeah, I agree yeah, with yeah. you again. <laughs> I'm just going to wait until you disagree with me again. No, but, but I... I uh, when, when my son, we used to watch American Idol, again my son, we used right. to watch American Idol. I, I knew my son was straight when we were watching American Idol. I figured it out. You know, you, you don't know. You don't know if your son is going to be straight or gay. One there are clues. One doesn't know, yeah. one doesn't care. Right, exactly. You certainly don't care. Yeah, this right. one, anyway. Right, I don't care. Yeah. So, uh, we were watching years and years ago, and there was a contestant named uh, Haley Scarnato. I remember this. Does anybody remember? No. No. <laughs> anyway, she, she, she was not the best singer, but she was very attractive. And my son was watching her, and he goes, she's got the best voice. <laughs> yeah. And then I looked at my wife and I said, yeah, we've got a straight man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, uh, that pretty much does it. Uh, yeah. All right, listen, we're out of time. What do you want? Awkward pause, mouth organ, big cash prize. I'm going for the prize. Okay, good. <laughs> what time is the shot of It's Steven? time for the big cash prize. Cash prize, eh? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I change? Things have changed. Can I change my mind? No, you, well, you could change your mind. Look at all that money. I'll, I'm one of the 50 guys. American dollars, singles. <laughs> Fit inside any G-string in these United States. Even ones, even ones worn by women. Wow. All right, two ways. Oh, don't touch the money until you've earned it. Two ways to win the uh, to win the big cash prize. You can either answer a question yes. or guess what's in my box. Guess what's in my box is I imagine a I box. Want, I don't. Want, I don't want to think about your box. Guess what's in my? I get imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Jeff is the only one who knows what's in it. You guess if you're right. Jeff will tell you. You win fifty dollars. I, I, I don't even understand that. I'll, 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 I'll take the question. A question it is then. All right. Hey. All right then. I don't want to. You ready? Yes, go ahead. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Is that a question? No, I'm just saying. I'm saying the sea. I'm saying the sea. It's because my if thing it is I do. True. No, no. Yeah. It's my thing that I say before I ask the question. It kind of sets the tone. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Give or take 10%, what percentage of people who responded to a recent survey admitted they slept with a friend's boyfriend or girlfriend? This is a terrible question. Is, uh, <laughs> is that in Iceland? <laughs> no? Sure, why not? No, okay, no. Uh, the, uh, uh, give, give or take 10%. What percentage of people who responded to a recent survey admitted that they'd slept with a friend's boyfriend or girlfriend? <coughs> 14%. Um, <laughs> let me think. Uh, I don't know, 15, 16%? Close enough. Yes. 14%. <laughs> David and Cody, everybody! My next guest is an award winning actor. Jeff, he's won awards. He's an award winner. An award winning actor. He's won awards. <laughs> He's the number one actor in the world, is that right? The number one number actor, one actor in, in the world. world. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> His new film, Phantom, is in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> the great David Duchovny, everybody. David Duchovny. You know what? I'm so happy I didn't know the rankings had come out. Yeah, they just came out. You are the number one actor in the world. I, I, I'm very excited I, for I, you. I knew it was going to be me or Roger Federer. It's you. And guess what? What? I um, You are to me anyway. You were the first ever guest when I, I got this show. I was. So to me, you are always the number one actor in the world, David. Oh, so... Hey, hey, hey! He's not a real guy! <laughs> You know what, I, I like you describe me as, as award-winning because it, it, it makes it sound like only one, which I like. Like, he's an award, not an he awards won, winning. I don't, oh, awards winning. He won an award once. Well, but that wouldn't sound right. Awards winning, he's an awards winning actor. That'd make me sound like... Try it next time. So All right, then, well, I'll try it now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an awards winning actor. No, that's not right. It doesn't work. Huh? It's an award winning. Award is the political... Hey, it's your show, man. Go ahead. <laughs> awards, award, whatever. <laughs> I'm not angry. Are you doing what the hell is he nodding about? Yeah. <laughs> He's a horse, man. He doesn't speak English. You ride horses, don't you? He's dovening. I think it's a Jewish horse. Look at him go. <laughs> Check his business. See if he. I don't see that. Any views expressed by David Duchovny <laughs> are got nothing to do with me. Oh. I... Now you're bailing out. No, I'm not. I'm only bailing I on you were your stuff. Come with me. What? Come on, come along. Let's I go. will. I'll go. I'll Where go wherever you want to go. Where okay. do you want to go? I, I went there. I'm no, going. you went too far. <laughs> you went too far. Are you circumcised? Are you circumcised? I, I wanted to know. <laughs> I don't. I don't hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> are you guys getting on? Okay. You gave him a, a, a rude gesture the last time you were here. I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, man. You're really funny. There's no, a lot, lot, of, lot of heat between you two. No, man. I haven't yeah. seen this much chemistry since. X Files? Know. No, I was thinking like Mc, Mc, McCain. I was thinking McCain Palin. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty I close. I don't know who's who, but uh, well, here's a clue. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> don't you know? Yeah, yeah, there you go. He's amazing. He is amazing. He can do it. He can do you. He can do your voice right now after hearing you. Yeah, hey, what's going on, man? Yes. <laughs> don't touch the robot, man. <laughs> Do it again. I think the horse. I think the horse's last name is yeah. Cohen. <laughs> it's not bad, David. It's not bad. It's a little bit like you. It's not good. Uh, I thought it was a little it, bit like it wasn't. Just good. a little bit. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Hey, hey, tell me about. Is this your submarine movie? I've been waiting for this. This is a submarine. Everybody's got to do a submarine. You got to do a submarine movie. This yeah. is it. That's how you know you're a proper Hollywood movie star when you get your submarine well, movie. Well, it's actually in the SAG rules. When you join, right. you have to check off a submarine movie. Submarine at some movie. Point. A lot of guys in a place. Yeah, uh, in, a, you know, in a metal tube. Sweating. This is a great movie, actually. It's, yeah, I believe we, you. We, we made it. It's a very small movie, an independent film, but it's being released wide as if it were a huge movie because that's the way it feels. Because it's so good. Well, it is really good. It's exciting. It's a thriller. I feel like I'm selling, but I'm selling the truth, people. <laughs> All right. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I remember I used to watch Arnold Schwarzenegger come on shows, and every movie was the best I movie remember I ever that. made. And I don't do that. No, you shouldn't do that. I don't do that, but I will. But Jingle honestly, All the Way is one of the best movies ever it's made. It's the yeah. best it's movie I've ever seen. I had sex with the maid on the way here. 
Of all the movies I have done, this one is the most recent. <laughs> exactly. <Very good. laughs> He's really good. Exactly. So I won't. I, I don't do that. You know me. I, I don't lie to you. I'm, this is a really. What do you mean movie. you don't lie to us? Of course you lie. You're an actor. You pretend to be somebody else all the time. That's like in this movie, you pretend you're a guy in a submarine. I'm guessing you're not even an American in the submarine. I'm on the submarine. Yeah. Yeah, it's not we a real actually, submarine, it's a pretend no, submarine. No, we're actually no. not, that's an actual submarine. We're in the submarine. What's that coming like? No. <laughs> you shot a movie in a real submarine? Yeah. You're lying. You're a lying liar, pants on fire. I don't lie. Why, why you couldn't shoot a movie in a real submarine? I'm, you I'm, need to rent it. No, well, they rented it. Yeah, they rent? Sure. Who? It's, a, it's an old submarine, it's rusting. Nobody's dying to rent that thing. A rust. <laughs> we, we went in it and we shot the hell out of it. It's, is that a sex thing, a rusty submarine? <laughs> is it, Jeff? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And you wouldn't follow me. I, I, I just asked a legitimate question. <laughs> and you lied to me about shooting a movie inside a submarine, which you didn't. No, no. And you pretend to be Russian in this no. movie, which you're not. No, but I, your name is a little bit Russian. I am, I'm a quarter Russian. A quarter? I yes, a quarter. A quarter. Yeah. <laughs> is that like the Kentucky it's, Derby? It was, <laughs> That was like the, the Pope thing. What was the word? Sharira. <laughs> what, yeah, no, no. what was the word? Superity. Superity. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not very good at this job, man. You know, uh, for, but I have a good time. For the amount of words that you say, you don't, uh, you don't mess up that bad. Yeah. Yay! Will that get in? But no, it'll never get no? in. No? Yeah, they'll beep you or put a little flag over your mouth. Don't you beep me. <laughs> you ever been to Russia, a Russian boy? I... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I was driving there in my submarine once. Yeah. Do you drive a submarine? No, I don't. Think I don't. Know. I think you ride it, don't you? <laughs> I hope not. You want to be inside. <laughs> Ask him about the sexual thing. Is I it, don't know. When you're when it's a rusty submarine, Jeff, do you drive it or ride it? No, oh, it's all up periscope. Let all me right. Try it. <laughs> you ever been to Russia? I haven't. I'd love to go. Oh, you should go, man. I think You'd I would love, love to go You'd with this it. movie because uh, I'm the only one with a Russian name in the movie. And we're all Russian in this film. No, you weren't no, speaking Russian in the clip. Was that a bit where you guys had No, no, we're sequence? all Russian, but we all, all nobody right. speaks right, Russian get it. because we're all Russian. And, and who says that it's more believable to watch American actors speaking English with a Russian accent? Like, I, I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> That guy is Russian because he's speaking with a Russian accent. No, but Russian people are very, they've got a very uh, obvious physicality about them. They talk like, they're like Italians, you know, they, they're like, they talk like this. That is so not true. That is true. Hey, which one of us has been to Russia? Me. So I, Go no, I've been to Russia. Well, I will stand down, sir. Yeah, right. maybe I went too far. Anyway, all I'm saying is I think you'd love it. You're a very literate man. Yeah. Russian people, very literate. Uh, you're a bit of a drunk. They're drunks. You'd love it. Do you know, speaking of literate, I, I, uh, I interviewed, well, I, I questioned you, whatever, I moderated. What did I do to you? He, he had a novel. Yeah, I had a book. And he you, had a book, and, I, and, he, and he, you did a reading, or he didn't do a reading. I did He was reading. there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you were trying to get people to buy your novel. Yeah, yeah. And we sat like this, and I interviewed this man. Yeah, yeah, it was great. You were really good. You were a good guest. You, you, were, a, you were a great host. You should really do this, John. <laughs> and, and I could pretend to be Russian. I've got some news for you, Craig. Finally? <laughs> I can leave? <laughs> Nothing from him. Yeah, no. No, he no, loves no, you. Was... Oh, he loves you. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> David, we have to take a commercial break. No. Yeah. Our... We'll be right back with David Dakota. Right? Dave and I were just talking to each other in Russian. Yeah. Because Hor I speak it because I've been there. Horosho. Horosho? Horosho. 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 Remember from uh, Clockwork Orange, there was a lot of Russian, made up English words from the Russian because Anthony Burgess was a genius that way. Right. And real horror show is what they said for something that was good. Horror show is good in Russian. Horror show is okay in Russian. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I don't know how you stayed single for so long. <laughs> Where are you now? Are you in LA or New York? I'm in New York. You're in New York all the time? That's why I never see you, because we're here. I know. We're here all the time. I would, I would be the guy, if I lived here, you know, when somebody fell out, yeah. they, they got drunk. 
Yeah, that'd be uh, you, every you night. You call up Duchovny and you say, come on in and shoot Crikey. with me. I would, I would love for you to do that. Why don't I'd be you like just, your Tony Randall. Well, don't, don't you have your own plane? You could just, like, fly over. Uh, I have a plane. I have a submarine. <laughs> I, could, I could come around, you know. When you come around, is that a plane or a submarine? That was a I can't submarine. Remember. I had to go up around Antarctica or the down. Oh, really? <laughs> For such a smart man, you don't have a firm grasp of geography, I don't do you? I, I mean, you're an incredibly bright man. What happened how, right there? How difficult is geography? Not that difficult. No. no I'm ashamed of myself. No, I, you, you know, my kids know much better geography than me. And, uh, you know, they'll, I see what they're doing, and they, they know where all the countries are. I'm really like <laughs> that ugly American who can't name all the other... Or like somebody who's running for vice president who can't, who, who can't name... David, David, David. You had to bring your Russian politics into this, didn't you? Or like somebody who's running for vice president. <laughs> That was like a Jewish-Russian guy. What's wrong Which with is you? what I am. You're like Red Fox tonight, man. You're going after everybody. Come on, help me out. I can't, I can't, I can't get anything by him. Anyway, we're out, of, we're out of time. You want to do something? You want to uh, awkward pause? You want to throw frisbees at the horse? Uh, what do you want to do? I'd like to throw a frisbee at that. All right, right yeah, we got a bunch of frisbees. Uh, um, there you go. Uh, take a bunch of frisbees. David Duchovny, everybody! He's a fantastic actor, a very handsome man. He's got very nice trousers, and his taste in shoes is impeccable. <laughs> his new movie, Louder Than Words, is now on video on demand and in theaters on August the 1st. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited he's here. Me too. <laughs> Take a look at this. Inside that bag was a great white shark. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Do you like that music? I that do. music was like David Duchovny. Do, do, here he comes. Maybe, bum, feel bum, bum, bum. Maybe feel good to be David Duchovny. Well, you should. Oh, People want to be David Duchovny. Mm. Why? I want to be David Duchovny I, myself. Well, I would like you to give me your, your best Craig Ferguson interview style and say, tell me about your movie. Ooh la la. <laughs> can, I, can I get one of those? Well, that's, you, that's for some of them, but you, David, are a different case and I just, I just want I just want to I just want to see it up close. Oh, all right. Tell me about your movie. Rock, you did go. Now, David. It's good. It's it, that, that that movie comes out August first, and it's a very sweet movie. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's about a young. What the hell's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's the only way I can I can I can get this out without you jumping on me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, hey! Uh, no, louder than the words. It's a, it's a sad but, but nice story. <laughs> Go and see it. It's, uh, no, it's a... a young girl that actually dies of rabies, which is tragic. It's terrible. Yes. Yeah. It, well, it's, 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 it's a sad it's movie. sad and beautiful movie. And All right. It, her well, no, I feel her, terrible about her, it. Yes, you should. Her parents... Uh, go on to build a children's hospital in her honor after. Well, no, I just feel like a jerk. Well, that's all right. Aren't you sorry you told me to... Strudel. Well, I was to... <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. I just wish I'd stuck to my guns. Okay, that's all yeah. right. Hey, uh, yeah. when you were feeling my knee there, did it yeah. feel extra nobly to you? Because I... 
<laughs> I have an extra, I have a little bone spur. Oh, no, I'm sorry, yeah, you, you do? do that? No, but I, I, I yeah. believe you. I like it, though. I like what you're doing. That's I like painful. what you're doing. That's painful. You've got strong hands, and That's what you're painful. doing right now, I'm yeah, kind of half yeah, chubbed, yeah. so yeah. you've got to get out of there. Knock it off, man. I'm getting uncomfortable. No, can I have a moment? All right. Ever been to Iceland or Bangkok? I haven't. <laughs> no, no, I, ha I, have, I have been to Thailand. No, well, right after I graduated college, I went to Thailand. Really? Yeah. What, were you doing the, uh, the, the tour, the kind of... Just backpacking around. Backpacking around Bangkok. Yeah. No, no, we're in north, north, northern Thailand in there. And the worst part was when I came home uh, to Seattle, I was stopped by customs because I had gotten a terrible disease uh, in, in Thailand. Not the one that you're thinking, but I had a stomach... <laughs> I had what you call shigellic dysentery. You can look it up later. Wow. It's bad. Yeah. But on the plane, I got it, and I was... Sashimi! My brain's out on the plane. No, it's a medical term! It's a medical term! <laughs> my brains were actually coming out. And, right. And uh, apparently this was untoward behavior to the stewardesses on the plane. They thought that I was smuggling drugs. So... Unsuccessfully, one yes, would think. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, uh, I was detained by customs who went through all my stuff and kept on asking me if I swallowed a prophylactic filled with heroin the night before. And? And I would say, no. <laughs> Not heroin. <laughs> you know, if, if I'd had the balls to be that funny, I'd yeah. <laughs> But eventually they said, uh, they asked me to sit there naked. They asked me to take my clothes off. And they said, hands on the wall and spread your legs. And I said, guys, I've had diarrhea for the last 14 hours. Please, for your own sake, do not. Do not look there. Do not go near there. I Did they heed your warning? No, they went in. <laughs> That's your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, you still keep in touch? But, Craig, I am sad that you're leaving the air, and I, I wanted to thank I'm you I'm not for... leaving the air. I'm leaving the show. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you. And you, you were my first guest. I, I, you know, I, and I'm very grateful to you because you're a very big star. And right when I started, we tried to get people to come. And right. they, they, it's hard when you're starting my out. My pleasure. But I think you have to deal with, you know, leaving and the, and the death of the show. <laughs> so, I, I... No, David, I, I think what you mean is you have to deal with me leaving. I do. <laughs> so, you know, you have to go through the stages of grief, which are... Denial, uh, anger, uh, bargaining, something else, <laughs> and acceptance. Pino, Regis, and, and breakfast burritos. Breakfast uh, burritos. Uh, Saskatchewan. There's another. Ever one. been to Saskatchewan? No, I not have been. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. No. Saskatoon's but, a hell of a town. What you're doing right now is you're trying to deflect the conversation away from your feelings. <laughs> So I think... How come we don't I, know that you're not trying to deflect the conversation because you're sad about I me? Said it, I said it first. Well, that doesn't make any difference. <laughs> what kind of juvenile argument is that? I said it first. That's, oh, no, he started it. That's, no! That's, that's what my therapist always would say to me. Well, he said... I said it first, he'd say. Really? Your yeah. therapist sounds like yeah. someone who needs therapy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Are you in therapy, for real? Uh, I'm not. I, I, oh, you got to get I quit. Some. No, I quit. Why? I had enough. I figured it out. I, I, I just... I feel like if I can't get it now... If I don't know how to maintain and, and work this spirit and body that I have, you know, then Crikey. me. <laughs> at this age... You can't even say that! You know, you can't even say the letters. Age, at this age, I should know myself well enough to go through my own life alone. That's the way I feel. Well, uh, no, before... No, wait. Hang on. I mean, I have had help over the years. Yeah, I have yeah, yeah. Help. Hang on. Yeah. Before you applaud that, just because an actor says something in a commanding and Hold on, will you be quiet? Doesn't I, mean it's right. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a text from my therapist. Oh, okay. ah, you see? So what do you do then? How do you keep yourself along the straight and narrow? Do you, uh, do, you do yoga? Do you, uh... I do a little yoga. I, I like the little, yoga. I meditate a little bit. And, uh, mm. you know, I just... I tell you what, I went to Japan and I meditated with a Buddhist monk. Oh, you did? I did. Yeah. And I liked it very much indeed. Yeah? Yeah, and he was a very satisfying guy. He was in robes and uh, yellow and he was chubby and he said a lot of very clever things. What kind of a clever thing did he say? What's an example of he that? He was like, you know, chill out, relax, try to keep it in the moment. <laughs> you know, it was in Japanese, but it was like, you know, it was like, chill out, relax, go, come on, calm down, keep it all in the moment, you know? It's like, it's okay. Don't get too attached to this or that, the outcome, you know? All stuff I'd heard before, but we were... Right. You know, but it, it was good, though. He looked the part, so you believe him. Yeah, he looked the part. I, also... I speak a little Japanese. It's a chill out. <laughs> Excuse me just a second.
Excuse me just a second. The jokes portrayed by David <laughs> Duchovny are in no way endorsed by me or the CBS organization. <laughs> so, um, so there you are. Well, yeah. that's good. Well, that's nice. I'm glad you had a good time over Yeah. Is Californication coming to an end? No, then? no it's, it's, it's done. done. It's done. Over with. I've started a new show two weeks ago. What's the new one? It's called Aquarius. It's on NBC. It's set in the 60s, which we both remember. No, I don't. Yeah, well, well you, you were know. born in 61. I was born yeah. in 62. That's... Kind of remember it. You know, you were alive. You were on the planet. You were, you were bouncing. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I remember better than I remember yeah. the 80s, to be quite frank with you. But yeah. I... Well, that's, yeah. I, uh, no, I don't remember much. I remember astronauts and stuff. You want to tell me about your childhood? Sure. <laughs> Why, you did it again! Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm playing a homicide detective in the, uh, in the 60s in L.A. And it's, that sounds good. I like the sound of that. Yeah. yeah around yeah. the Manson time. Around the Manson murders. That Ooh, kind of yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. Creepy, yeah. yeah. Comedy. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Oh, really? We're just getting started. Well, we'll start again after Why the break. Why do you always want to break things up? <laughs> you know, David, the pipe's really my thing. You took the pipe. I, I did it first. a second. He's manipulating you. <laughs> he's a very good professional actor. He's, he's making your emotions bend to his will. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> just talking, just shooting the breeze, just a couple of guys getting ready to kiss. I mean, getting, uh... Talking about their pipes. Talking about the pipes. So anyway, we're out of time, David. <laughs> that was genuine shock. <laughs> I was like, that was like, ooh la la. <laughs> it's his catchphrase. You gotta got be able to say that. Yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> Trademark. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to the uh, Comic Con? I'm not. I don't think I am. I went uh, last year. I, you have a good time. I, I did have a good time. You there. dressed. It's a good time, isn't yeah, it? Comic Con. Yeah. I dressed up as Princess Leia last time. Is, <laughs> what? Who? Plin Princess Leia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought that's what you said. <laughs> Uh, I was excited. Uh, what, what uh, do you, you get a line of people that want to uh, shake your hand and... and well, you meet the folks. Meet yeah. the folks that enjoy the shows. I like it. Uh, there's yeah. something good about it. it feels, it's funny because it's so entertainment uh, industry based and yet it feels very un-Hollywood and I like that. It won't last, of course. The well, Borg will take it over well, and it'll well, all get... Ow. Is, but, the joke is that, that all the people are crazy and, 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 and crazy fans and things like that, but, but you're right. What you come away with is more of like a human interaction that you, you can get anywhere else. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. They're just honest about it, but they're crazy and yeah. they're enthusiastic and upbeat as yeah. opposed to the cynical douchebags yeah. that we deal with every day here. My present company ex uh, accepted, of course, uh, Michael. So, uh, we really are out of time. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, I, I would just sit and, you know, we, I'll talk to your audience. I'll, we'll, we'll do Oh, no, the, you clear. Right. He, he's doing it again! He is doing it again! What's right. wrong with you? He's, he's, he's manipulating you. What is, are you sheep? Are you so blind you can't see? He's just teasing you with his finger. <laughs> What? <laughs> anyway, good All times. Right. You want to meditate or have an awkward pause or something? Uh, no, I just want to say thank you for letting me be your first guest and thank you for being on the air uh, all, all, low all these years. And you've done, you've done a great job. Thank you. Jim the company, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. I should, but I'm working right now on a TV show, actually, with David Duchovny, and he said he was the first guest on your show. He was the first guest on my show. Yeah. He touched me. <laughs> so I let him be first guest on oh the show. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Was it good? Like, he's what are great. the details no. of this? David's a very nice man. He's Do you know so nice. He loves you, because I told him I was doing this, and he's like, oh, you're doing the fun one. <laughs> That's what he said, the fun one. I but have I gotta no ask idea what you mean. <laughs> well, I have to ask.
ask me about this whole sexual harassment thing. No, he didn't harass me sexually. I mean, he touched me with his genius, is what I mean. Okay. Da David or you, maybe you harassed him sexually. Well, I did yeah. harass him a little bit, yeah, sexually. Yeah. You know, sort of, just a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, tried to kiss him. Yeah. <laughs> well, he loves you. He was just saying he loves you. Yeah, obviously not enough to kiss me, but there you are. That's yeah, the yeah, way it yeah, is. Yeah. What are you doing with him? Um, Californication. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. show. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. Do you make out with him in this show? I haven't yet, but I have a feeling that I might eventually. Because everyone makes out with him on that show, right? Yeah, whether it's on camera or not, eventually <laughs> you're going to make out. Do you ever get... Uh, do you ever get